Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. The Lakers signed Miami Heat guard Gabe Vincent with the majority of their mid-level exception to a three-year, $33 million deal. Let's take a look at what he brings to this Lakers team. First and foremost is his perimeter shooting. He can shoot and hit from the perimeter in a variety of ways, whether that's on catch and shoot, He hit nearly 50% on catch and shoot last season. That of course will be critical with the Lakers superstars who create a ton of open catch and shoot opportunities. He can shoot off the dribble in a variety of ways. And he's also able to hit tough shots. All that being said, he can be quite streaky, although that did normalize during the playoffs and more on that later on in the video. Secondly, on the offensive end is his ability to play in the pick and roll. He's able to handle the ball and navigate screens and space quite effectively. And he has an ability to finish in the mid-range in a multitude of ways. And also put some decent rim pressure as well. He's not gonna, of course, attack the rim, but he has some crafty finishes around the rim. Along with Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell, Vincent now provides a third primary ball handler in the pick and roll to really take the onus off LeBron and allow him to ease into and ramp up for the season and the playoffs. Thirdly, Vincent is effective at attacking closeouts and really understands how to attack individuals' feet and how to use their momentum against them. That is also critical on this Lakers team where you're gonna have a lot of those rotations and defensive runouts at shooters. Moving to the defensive side of the ball, this is an area where Gabe may have surprised many people during the playoffs. He's a tenacious and high effort level on ball defender. And he's quite good off the ball as well, showing great instincts and anticipation. It's not all that surprising considering to play for Coach Eric Spolstra and the Miami Heat, you really have to have that defense first mindset and that aligns quite well with Lakers coach Darvin Ham, who always stresses the defensive side of the ball and effort as the foundation for this Lakers team. Next, Vincent shows an extremely high level of toughness and effort. He's always gonna make those high energy effort winning plays. One way to describe him is he has that dog in him. He's able to, for example, guard up when he needs to and he's shown that in multiple instances. Last but not least, and perhaps most importantly considering the Lakers' aspirations for next season, is that Gabe showed an extremely high level of composure and mentality during the playoffs. He took a step up during the playoffs when many players shrink from that moment, similar to how Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura also took a step up and met the moment. Similar to AR, there were multiple examples of Gabe getting the ball on the ball during late situations and Spolstra trusting him to make that correct final play. All in all, Vincent is a very good fit both on and off the court with this Lakers team from a skills, habit, and mentality perspective. It's a really shrewd move from Lakers GM Rob Palenka 
who had a great summer thus far after a very, very good trade deadline. And I set the Lakers up very well moving forward. This is just the first video for the free agents that the team has required. And I'll be providing similar videos on all the Lakers free agent acquisitions over the course of the summer. Catch y'all next time.